Hey guys, it's me, and I just got my computer back. This is actually the first thing I have done on it. I haven't even gone online yet. So you can see how much effort I am putting into this. We're in my dorm again because it's raining outside. It's pretty crappy out. Sorry, I was listening to something in the hall. Um, so this is the long-awaited 10 things you didn't know about me. And so you can see how much thought I put into this. Here is my list. And there's a the back. I hope that this isn't going to be too long. We'll see. Okay, so number one, I must consult my left. Hi, it's my left hand, my left hand and arm. It's pretty much useless. Um, I can't carry anything heavier than a textbook on it. Like it won't support my weight if I try to do push-ups or anything. And that's because when I was sparring with my friend in karate, I hyperextended it. Actually, she kind of hyperextended it for me because I went to punch her and she like knocked my arm back and it hit my elbow in a funny way, which wouldn't have been a big deal. But then like the moron I am, I kept using it while I was injured. So it's like permanently damaged and pretty useless these days. Um, this is a multi-part one for number two. It's about my love of music. First, my favorite band is the Goo Goo Dolls, which I think I've told you guys before. That's not a secret. Um, but I don't think you guys comprehend the depth to which I love the Goo Goo Dolls. Um, they made me adore music. And I'm not one of those people who's like, Iris, oh, Goo Goo Dolls, I love you. And I do like Iris. It's a great song. Uh, my favorite song by them, actually, though, is As I Am, off their new album. But they sing two of my four favorite songs. Um, the four favorites are As I Am and Big Machine, which are both by the Goo Goo Dolls. And then the other ones are Rio by Hey Marseille. Uh, you should look that up. It's got a really cute music video. And Signal Fire by Snow Patrol. And those are my favorites. Um, and also on music, my favorite soundtrack in the whole wide world is The Score for Sinbad, A Legend of the Seven Seas. I listen to it when I write or study, like, all the time. It's, it, it's, it's pretty sweet. You guys should check that out, too. Um, number trois. Three in French, ha. Huh? I'm so multicultural. Um, anyway, <laughs> this one is, when I was ten, I totally spent, like, the whole summer uh, waiting for a letter from Hogwarts, but come on, that's normal. Who didn't wait for a letter from Hogwarts? I mean, come on now, I mean, you know it exists, you do, you know it, you know it, you know it, you know it, so don't call me crazy. Um, so that was number three. Number four is I adore tragedies, which is kind of weird, because you guys all know I'm like a fairy tales and happy endings junkie too, so it's kind of weird that I adore tragedies. Like, my favorite legend is the legend of Orpheus, where, like, his wife dies, so he goes to the underworld to get her back, and they're like, okay, you can have her back, you just can't look back before you get out. And he looks back, so she's stuck there forever. That really sucks, but I love it. And my favorite play is Hamlet, because I am a total Shakespeare snob. Um, in which my favorite character is Ophelia. I actually have an Ophelia background that I use on my computer sometimes. Um, and my favorite poems are The Lady of Shalott and The Highwayman, which are actually some of the poetry I have up on my wall now. Um, and I, I write tragedies for my world, too. I've written one about the how this queen, like, doomed all of her people because she was a moron. And the one about um, this guy who tried to save a princess, but he, they both ended up dying. Oops. And it's, that is actually one of my favorite pieces of writing that I have ever done. Um, so since I love tragedies, it's really weird that I get hung up on when, <laughs> that like the endings of The Princess Bride and Stardust in the books, it's really weird that I don't like those because I like tragedies. Whatever. Um, number five kind of goes with that last part. I do not believe that books are always better than movies. I firmly believe that the film adaptations of Stardust, The Princess Bride, 
and uh, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix are far better than the books were. Um, the first two, because the endings in the books, I hated them. And Stardust, the movie, was actually more epic than the book was. The book was kind of actually boring. And um, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix was an extremely boring book. They did nothing but talk for like half the book. So, <laughs> who cares? Um, flip it over for number six. The first story of any significant length that I ever wrote was pretty much a knockoff of Charmed. Um, and it featured the character of Chris Ann Belmont, who is still around. Mm -hmm. I've revamped her like six times, and she's now the main character in the story that I'm writing called Night, which is a modern adaptation of my favorite fairy tale, East of the Sun and West of the Moon. Um, seven. I actually changed the plot line of Rule of World because I thought people would like it more. Even though I'm actually a fan of the original plot, which never actually got written, except as like a little blurb on my computer. Um, and the original plot, Rebecca was not a maid who like got dragged into this adventure because she worked for James's family. She was actually just this whore off the street who James hired and uh, she followed him because uh, they got like interrupted and he like ran off and didn't pay her. So she followed him to make sure she got paid and ended up getting dragged along for the whole ride. I actually like that storyline better personally, but I didn't think uh, other people would take to it that well. So I changed it. Um, eight, my birthday is on Sunday, October 3rd. I will be 19 and I have never been kissed ever. Mm-hmm. It's true. Um, nor have I ever had, like, a legit boyfriend. So, yeah. Um, I don't really know why, because I'm a total flirt, so there's really, like, no reason guys should be, like, stay away. But I do have a theory. I have this theory that it's because I am too weird, and that, contrary to what the media would have you believe, guys don't like freaky girls. So that's my theory. Um, and I don't, uh, number nine, we're on number nine, by the way, um, I never wear matching socks and I don't, I don't mean like, uh, I don't wear matching socks. Like I wear two different white socks cause I couldn't find two of the same pair. I mean, I wear socks like, mm, hold on a sec. I'm back. The sock is inside out, so I have to turn it around. One of these is neon zebra stripes, and one of these, argyle with pink skull and crossbones. And they are knee socks, if you can see that. Um, and I tend to actually wear these with uh, shorts and sneakers and, like, funky tank tops, because I am that cool, except most other people actually seem to think it's kind of weird. But I matching socks are unlucky. That is the reason for this. I firmly, firmly believe that matching socks are unlucky. So that is why I never wear them. And I got really excited because one of my favorite stores sells packs of pre-mismatched socks. Like, look at that. I'm so cool. Um, and number 10. I consider myself an extremely shallow and superficial person. I really do. Um, like, you could probably stand in a puddle full of me and not get your feet wet. Yeah. I mean, here I am trying to be all cool and interesting. Ten things you didn't know about me. Woohoo! But, uh, pretty much everything I do is very, very carefully calculated to make myself appear cool and interesting when in fact I am a very boring person. So yeah. So those are the 10 things you didn't know about me. There's actually going to be another video after this one because I just want to talk about everything that's been happening. So I am going to end this now. Bye!